Scientists have attributed fossils to tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of years, but it has been revealed today that this is simply not true. There are findings in the world that prove this fossilization process occurred since the flood at an extremely fast rate. Philip Curry, an internationally recognized expert on dinosaurs from the Royal Tyrrell Museum in Canada, wrote in 1996 in his book, the time it takes for a bone to become fossilized is not fixed at all. If the environment is rich in minerals, the process can occur quickly nowadays. Fresh bones that fall into mineral springs can fossilize within a few weeks. Indeed, the commentators who lived 150 years ago clearly wrote in the Torah about the verse, and they were wiped off the face of the earth. Only from the earth were they wiped, but they remained in the ground. The bodies were swept by the waters into the valleys, and most of them were swallowed into the depths of the abyss. The earth opened its mouth from the depth of the great abyss, and when Noah left the ark, he found no trace of the carcasses of the animals, the giant bones, and the large animals that existed before the flood. Then all of this became fossilized over several thousand years. The testimony of Hashem is trustworthy to answer those who dig deep into the earth and find large bones of giants and animals that were lost from the earth and no longer exist since the days of the flood. This clarifies everything in a wonderful way. By the way, fossils of seashells, marine creatures, have been found in high mountains, in places where there is no sea nearby, and people wonder how the fish got to the top of the mountain. But according to the Torah, it is understandable.